Welcome to the first problem of Unit 4. In this situation, we're going to pretend that we are fishermen, and we're interested in catching this red type of fish right here. However, whenever we try to catch the red fish, we also end up catching a bunch of these smaller green fish, as you can see from the contents of our net right here. What we're going to do in this problem is model logistic growth for both species of fish, the red and the green, with the constants and the initial values that we've already included in the supplied code. Just for reference, I've included a general equation for logistic growth right here. F is the population that we're looking at, R is the growth rate of the population, and C is the carrying capacity of the surrounding environment. Now remember, when we model the change in population for both types of fish, we need to include both population growth, which is dictated by this equation, but also the harvesting rate. We've created this parameter called P to represent the fraction of the total fish that we catch that are part of the green fish population. So we might also call this the fraction of the bycatch. Just to start, we've inserted a value of 0.5 for P, but what you're going to do is calculate the threshold value of P for fish 2 to not go extinct. In other words, what is the highest possible value of P that will allow for an equilibrium situation in the population of fish 2? After you've calculated the correct value of P, come down to the for loop and use, as you've done so many times before, the forward Euler method. You'll notice that we've already included a line for you to prevent the population of either type of fish from becoming negative. Good luck!